Hello, everybody, and welcome to Restream Q&A session. Uh, today, we are going to talk to you about different questions and uh, different ways how you could use Restream. We will show a couple of demos for you so you can learn a little bit more about how to use our feature and our solution. And we will also take the questions from the community. So the idea for this uh, event is to to listen to your questions and to uh, help you understand and find the answers to what you're trying to uh, realize when you're using Restream. Uh, we are also, in addition to our demos, going to give you a special promo code in the end of the stream. So please hang out until the end and um, we will drop it in the in the chat and also show it on the screen. And uh, today, uh, Anastasia is joining me from Customer Success Team. Um, she is head of Restream Customer Success and here she is. So she's going to get this ball rolling and kickstart the stream with uh, answering one very simple question. Who is Restream for and who can benefit from our solution? Uh, thanks, Anya, and thanks for having me. Uh, well, first of all, I must say uh, it's uh, our first uh, first live stream to uh, some open live stream for Restream demo and everything that could go wrong went wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, and I hope we will be a life example of uh, how the when the things go wrong, you still can do a great demo. I hope that's what will be uh, us. Uh, sorry about us. Uh, but answering your question regarding the who Restream is for, um, Restream is for really for content creators, for companies, and for organizations who want to reach more audience, engage with them, and monetize uh, through, through with them as well. Um, we, I think we've seen the trend in general in the past few years where content creation went from just text and a lot of information to video content creation and from there now to the live streaming. And I think live streaming is kind of a new, it's starting to pick up and, um, and it's an amazing tool to really engage with the audience. And I hope we will showcase today how we will answer some of your questions. And that's why um, uh, Restream is great because it allows you to reach more audience and engage with them better. Uh, from our users, we have seen the users from different industries like um, product uh, marketing, people, from marketing companies uh, using for product launches or um, uh, courses or video blogs or gamers, churches. Uh, actually, recently as well, during COVID, uh, even the Italian government was using our solution. Again, they just wanted to reach more audience and to be heard, their message to be heard about uh, COVID. And uh, we were just the best tool to do that. Awesome. Yeah, thank you so much for sharing. I think it really helps to understand like what kind of different people or different backgrounds are using multi-streaming and just streaming in general in order to accomplish completely different goals. Uh, so it's great to see everybody. Hello, everyone in chat. Again, apologies for the mix up with the timing. Uh, good thing that we were able to start a little earlier and I hope you will be able to hang out with us and we will try to answer as many questions as we can. So please start to ask whatever you would like to know about Restream specific features, uh, specific things that you can do with our tool, just general questions. Uh, we will be happy to uh, go through them and help you understand what we know, at least. And I'm going to go ahead and start with a quick demo of how to, uh, to connect channels to your Restream dashboard, which is a very basic thing, but this is your first step when you're starting uh, with Restream. And it will also show you the Restream Studio. This is the tool that we're using right now in order to power this stream. Uh, you can run your own live stream just solo. Uh, you can share your screen. You can invite guests like I'm doing right now with Anastasia. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and run through this quick demo with you, and then we will jump right into the questions. All right. So let me go ahead and share my screen. Uh, and of course, at first, it will create this little infinity thing. And I'm going to move to my channel. So um, as you can see, since I'm live right now, there is this little monitor right here that kind of shows me what's going on. Uh, when you just start with Restream, uh, you will not have this, you know, plenty channels that I have right now. So you'll basically just have destinations and this button that says at channel. Um, if you click on it, you will see the different uh, options. We over 30 different platforms. Uh, the most popular ones are on top. So uh, let's just for fun try to add a YouTube channel. So YouTube events, you can set it up manually, but um, I recommend setting up uh, using our automatic API. And you see how I can connect my YouTube channel um, and I'm gonna allow 
give all the permissions to the stream in order to um, to send information such as live videos to YouTube channel. And here we go. So actually, I do not have a YouTube channel with that account, but uh, if you, the one that I, I selected, but if you do, is going to add your channel right here like it, like it did for my other channels. And you can repeat that same process with other channels as well. And you can even select Customer TMP. Customer TMP allows you to add channels and, and platforms that are not currently listed or supported by us natively. For example, this is how you would be adding um, an Instagram channel, uh, and we will talk about that briefly, how to stream on Instagram using Restream or any other platform uh, that is not connected to us, like, for example, SoundCloud or MixCloud. And of course, um, you can connect multiple channels of the same from the same platform, like, for example, from Facebook, you can connect your personal profile, you can connect your groups and your fan pages. Uh, it kind of depends on what plan you are. There's a certain limitation for those destinations. Uh, and we will break that down as well, how to count paid destinations and paid channels uh, versus free channels that are included into your, um, into your plan. Uh, so the second thing that I wanted to share with you guys is the live studio. Let me quickly mute myself here so it doesn't create any kind of a crazy effect. So as you can see, this is a separate screen, but uh, this is something uh, that where you will start if you are interested in streaming directly from your browser. A lot of people will be using Restream with OBS and other solutions, but you can also just go live directly from your laptop as long as you have a web camera and internet connection. So let me just run through the buttons that you can see here real quick. So of course, this is your microphone. You can mute yourself or unmute yourself. This is your camera. You can disable it if you do that. The background image that you can add, and I'll show you how in a second, uh, will remain on the screen. And you can always come back to, um, to your video. Uh, this button is to share screen. This is what I'm doing right now. This is why you see this. Uh, um, and you can also spotlight uh, your shared screen like I did earlier, so it becomes the biggest uh, the biggest part channel. Um, you can invite guests. This is how Anastasia joined me. Uh, you can just click on this little button with a guest. You can copy the link and share it with your guests. It will appear right here on your side, and you can basically use this little toggle to bring them in or kick them out, and you can also spotlight them, which I will do with Anastasia shortly as well. Uh, this is quite... Uh, simple setting. Um, you can basically select your microphone. As you can see, I have multiple here. You can select the one that you would like to use for your stream. And also, same can apply to web cameras. If you have multiple web cameras, you can select the one that you would prefer to use. Um, over here, as you can already see, uh, there is your chat. Uh, as you can see, it aggregates from all the platforms. Right now, we're streaming to YouTube, uh, our Periscope or Twitter channel and our Facebook. So you can see that the comments appear with a little logo so you can know which platform they're coming from as well as the name of the person who is mentioning uh, or asking the question. If you want to highlight uh, some questions such as, for example, this one, uh, can you look at the live chat? People are asking. So yes, you can. Right here you can look at the live chat and you can highlight specific questions and show them on the screen if you want to comment and answer those questions. Um, if you don't want to show messages anymore, you can hide them. Uh, you also have in your studio. So there is our promo code that we'll be showing shortly. Uh, you can create, you can pre-create those uh, messages in advance and can showcase them. And you can also uh, brand that color right here. Uh, that is something that you can do in your graphics uh, where you can upload your logos. Um, you can add your overlays. Like for example, if you want a specific overlay for, for your show, like a little logo, uh, we like to use this overlay a lot, which shows the names um, of participants. You know, there is another way to show your guest names um, and I'll, I will show that to you in just a second. And you can also add background pictures right here. And this is where you uh, use that color code if you want to add specific brand color to your captions. Uh, this toggle right here will show participants' names. So if you don't want to create overlays like we did, you can actually just type up your name right here and ask your guests to do the same. And then it's just gonna um, show up like this uh, on your stream. And this last section is, is called up. Uh, this is where you put your title and description for your stream. If you click this update button, it's going to update all of those channels. Um, if you do not want to, you can come back to your channels and actually add it 
uh, descriptions and titles separately for each platform. But what we do here is we typically just do the same title for all the platforms that we are going live on. And uh, yeah, so that is a quick run through the studio. And uh, we will be happy to answer any more specific questions about uh, about this specific. Uh, let me go ahead and stop sharing my screen here and bring Anastasia back. There's so many questions. It's so exciting. Awesome. Um, so let's just go ahead and start with, um, with the question that we get asked quite a bit. Uh, and then we'll start bringing in your comments. Um, so the question is how to count custom destinations. So I think, uh, Anastasia, it would be great if you, um, if you broke down uh, just in general how restream pricing works. So how many different plans we have, what, what, what are the costs? And then if we could go ahead and talk about the custom destinations and how to count them and kind of how to understand what you're paying for uh, and, uh, and how, much, how much is that and what you're getting for, for your paid plan. Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, I think first thing to mention is that uh, Restream doesn't really have any limitations on, for example, hours of streaming or quality of your stream. We are really here to accelerate the impact of lives, uh, and that's lives of videos and lives of uh, lives of people, and we stand by it. So our pricing model is based around uh, more around um, specific destinations that are paid. Uh, so and plus additional features. So let's say if you need to count the number of destinations, it's pretty simple. Uh, Facebook groups, uh, it's always number one. <laughs> it's a one that requires one custom destination, hence it requires a paid plan. But then if you want to stream to, let's say, Instagram, uh, and Instagram requires a custom RTMP in order to set it up, um, that is also one customer, uh, one custom destination. Uh, or, or for example, if you want to stream to YouTube, uh, one personal account and YouTube company account. That is our, as well the second YouTube account, also one extra destination. So, and then you just sum up how many destinations you have. And at the end of the day, you will have the number of destinations you need, and then you can understand the plan. So, for example, if you want to stream to Facebook groups, uh, Instagram, and one YouTube account, you'll need a professional plan. Um, and that will also allow you to have your own branding in the streams. Um, whenever if you want to just uh, stream to YouTube and Facebook groups, for example, you can have um, a standard, uh, standard plan. Just keep in mind that our branding will be visible in your stream when you're streaming through standard plan. A uh, few other things that are separating our uh, pricing uh, models also include um, amplifier, um, fallback. That's my favorite option. <laughs> I always worry mm -hmm. that my connection wouldn't be very good. So fallback is definitely for me. It's kind of a backup for your uh, internet stream. And I would definitely suggest if you're going for a big conference or event or um, something that you need a stable connection, it's always so good to have a fallback. Uh, so that's what will go with our business plans, for example. Um, and then also, of course, uh, su uh, support. So for um, the kind of uh, uh, with our uh, bigger plans like a premium business we have a higher level touch of support as well awesome awesome that's great um all right let's talk a little bit about um instagram because this is something that people are asking quite a bit uh how can you stream can you stream uh to instagram using restream and uh how how do you go about this? And we do have a helpful article about that that I will also share in, in the channel, but I'll let uh, Anastasia just break it down for you real quick so you kind of have an idea and I'll share that article in just a second. Yeah, so uh, Instagram is a tricky cookie, <laughs> short answer. Yes. Um, so they kind of a little bit more protective about their API and they, um, they want us or they only want themselves allowed to stream. There is a workaround though. Uh, it's called Yellow Duck. <laughs> um, it's, yeah. a, a separate, it's a separate program, um, and but it allows you to um, use it to connect to Instagram and connect it to Restream. Uh, and um, we would require a customer RTMP, as I mentioned before. Uh, the only thing with the Instagram is that when you 
updating it, when you're inserting it into your Restream account, you need to insert it two minutes before your go live um, because it basically opens up a window of two minutes and then you need to go live. If you don't go live in two minutes, uh, Instagram will think that uh, there's something cheeky going on and they will close your stream. Uh, but it's absolutely possible. And as Anna mentioned, there's a Good Health Center article uh, on this, um, how to start and... Um, we seen many of users streaming to Instagram, no problem. Uh, actually, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube are quite popular destinations for us. Awesome. Awesome. That's great. Um, all right. So I think it is about time. We want to try to keep it sweet and short within uh, 30 to 40 minutes today. So let's go ahead and um, just move to the questions from our community. Let me remove this caption real quick and just jump, in, jump into the chat and start selecting um questions from our community. So question number one, what software you use to do this conference stream? As we mentioned earlier, this is Restream Studio. I demoed it just 10 minutes ago. Um, this is not necessarily like a conference stream, but it's just a great tool to multi-stream to a lot of platforms and go live directly from your browser. It's very easy to use. There was a question about that. How easy is it to use Restream? Uh, there's like a lot of questions in the chat, so that's why I'm kind of struggling navigating them. Uh, but yes, it is very easy. You don't have to have any special additional software or any special equipment. Uh, you just create an account. You go to your uh, Restream dashboard. You connect the channels that you want to go live, uh, and then there's a go live button where you can basically start your stream. So very easy. Um, all right. I think I restream my studio is similar to um, your normal Skype call, your Zoom call, your WhatsApp call is that easy. It's super easy. Just make sure yeah. you have a strong internet. Uh, we will use your browser settings. We will use your, your built-in camera. That's actually what I'm using. I'm on a Chromebook, <laughs> which mm -hmm. is like uh, even we avoid rec recommend avoiding it if you're hosting the stream. But even with Chromebook, it works fine. Uh, I use built-in camera, built-in mic, uh, and here we go live. Yeah, awesome. Um, question here here from music history records for music company can music uh label you this site um okay um so i guess the question is about streaming music um and uh the answer is yes you can stream music with restream if you want to specify your question like specifically um about like labeling and, and rights i mean we'll, we'll be happy to answer that as well but uh in general yes you can definitely stream music with restream and we have a lot of musicians djs uh popular uh, musicians from all over the world who are using Restream on a regular basis in order to power their live streams. Um, so yeah, that's definitely there's definitely an application uh, for that. Uh, next Actually, oh, sorry, yeah, well, I was looking for a next question. Uh, actually, one of the biggest, uh, at least it's my favorite stream that went through us, it was One World. Uh, it's yes. when uh, musicians from across the world were joining uh, um, stream from a different locations uh, again across the world and it was pretty cool to see they were using us to to send their stream to multiple platforms and on YouTube I think it got 12 million viewers Elton John was there Lady Gaga it was just so inspiring how we also facilitated during COVID uh, facilitated this bringing together the people so DJs for sure <laughs> we support yeah, that awesome. Also, Mixcloud. You, uh, we are currently we don't have Mixcloud built in in our um, as a part of our products, but uh, we're something we consider. Uh, and for now, for sure, you can use customer or team P to um, to use them to uh, get uh, your streaming to Mixcloud. Yep, yep. That that option that I showed early in the demo. Uh, great question right here. I would like to stream directly to my website page, please. We do have the opportunity to embed your stream into your website. Anastasia, I'll pass the microphone to you so you can break that down. Yeah, hundred uh, percent. It's one of the common questions as well. And be honest with you, I recommend to everyone who's doing streaming uh, is to stream to your Facebook, YouTube, whatever the platforms and your website as well. I just think that you can reach more audience in that way. And that's what the live streaming is about, is reaching more audience. And you can do it by, um, so what, you can stream directly to one of the platforms, for example, YouTube or Twitch or Facebook, and then take embed the video from YouTube, let's say, to your uh, website directly. Um, we also uh, we also have a, what we call Restream Widget, and that is additional functionality that allows you to basically 
ensure continuous streaming uh, to your embedded as embedded link to your website. So one of those uh, things I would definitely recommend for you to use. And I cannot hear you. I don't know if it's just me. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I did I did mute myself in order to not <laughs> to give you the right of passage. Um so once again, David from uh from YouTube here is asking what camera or cameras are you using now? Connect via Thunderbolt, um uh, mic via Thunderbolt or interface. So I can I can answer that one because I do use um some additional equipment for my streams. I do use just a regular uh, Logitech web camera uh, that I connect through USB, so there's nothing special there. Uh, and this is the AKG P220 microphone that I also connect through USB. So don't I, I don't really use any special equipment for that. I do also have some lights. I think they're very helpful to make the image a little bit more crisp and just better in general. Lighting fixes a lot of problems. Uh, but I do believe that you can um, use virtual camera through OBS if you want to use more complex optics for your streams. Uh, but for the most for most of us, the web camera would be just fine. And this is what I'm using right here. And Anastasia is just using her camera on on the laptop, right? Is that, is that correct? Yeah, correct. I also have a little bit of lighting going on, the extra lamps, uh, but I'm just using built-in camera and mic. Right, right, awesome. Awesome, all right. So here is another, another quick question. Oh gosh, there's so many, there's so many. <laughs> and like, and, and, yeah, I'm like- I'm answering some of your questions, but we will try to come back to you as, uh, and we'll try to touch as many as we can. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Can you stream to more than two channels platforms at the same time with the free version? Let's go ahead and and tackle this one. So absolutely. The short <laughs> answer is absolutely. In fact, you can stream to 30 different platforms. Well, maybe not, maybe a little bit less. <laughs> well, we support 30, I think, almost 30 pl platforms, 20, I think, of which is for free or something like that. Uh, so you can stream to them with no limitations. Uh, as I was uh, mentioning earlier, there are no limits on number of platforms that you want to send your stream simultaneously. There is no num the, there's no limit on duration of your stream. There's no limit on the quality of your stream. There's no limit on bitrate or anything like that. Uh, as I was mentioning, we're really here to accelerate the impact of lives, and that's what we stand for. And with our free account as well, you can reach, uh, you can implement, uh, let's say, YouTube and Facebook, personal, Twitch, Twitter, so other platforms as well. Um, and um, no limitations. Awesome. Uh, quick question from Facebook from Jason. I have a question. Why uh, can we not stream to page on Facebook only on personal profile? Just real quick here. Yes, you can stream on pages. You can stream on groups. It is just part of our paid plans. You can stream for free to your personal accounts. This is the ideal free plan that is just for individual users. If you have a business page or a fan page, then you will need a standard plan to stream on that. If you want multiple business pages and multiple groups to stream on, then you'll be looking at professional plan for individuals and even more advanced plans for companies and corporations. But you absolutely can stream to your page and profile. It's not a limitation of Restream. It's just a matter of plan that you're using. Great question right here from um, NL Church Tate Pali. Um, so this is from YouTube. Can I connect Zoom to Restream? Great question, Anastasia. I'll let you break this down real quick for. Um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's also a very common question. Uh, yes. Short answer is yes. <laughs> Zoom, uh, we allow streaming through Zoom. There is multiple ways you can do a stream from Zoom. Uh, the easiest way, obviously, the, the, the one that um, kind of built in uh, option, it would require you a Zoom uh, paid plan. Um, but also you can stream to Zoom through OBS. That is for, with, you can do it with the free Zoom plan. Um, you don't require a restream plan to, to connect to Zoom at all. If you wanna use free plan, with us, it's up. It's your choice. Uh, we don't require plan. And uh, that is to say, I strongly recommend you to check out the guests, <laughs> restream guests. I think uh, we put a lot of resources in our last months or a few weeks uh, in order to bring this product uh, up to scratch and into the world. Uh, uh, last week, we only last week we announced uh, ten or fifteen uh, guests. 10, yeah, ten guests on the on the, that is possible to connect and we're constantly looking into this and that's already built in in restream so you don't need to have additional 
account anywhere. You just log in into your Restream account and you have the similar functionality. So if you haven't yet, I would recommend you to check out um, Restream Guests. And please, of course, we support Zoom. Uh, I, maybe we can share Help Center article a little bit after uh, how to set it up. It's available on our Help Center. Awesome. And we will definitely share the link to that uh article in the in the comments to this video uh, after we're done because that's a great question a lot of people are asking and we will definitely share uh, the article with the video that shows you exactly how to do that. Captions, is that closed caption? Uh, so I believe this is the question about uh, our studio. So the captions are not closed captions. Those are the captions that you can use for calls to action or to showcase specific things like names or your website or anything else that you want to display on your screen. The closed caption question is great. We are actually thinking in that direction. Uh, live closed captions though, that will actually uh, write down everything that you're saying in real time is not a trivial task to tackle, especially when you start thinking about maybe that could also be translated into different languages, like simultaneous translation captions. Uh, but we are thinking in that direction because a lot of people are asking and I think it's a great idea uh, for us to have it. So, but yeah, definitely. Uh, definitely something that we're looking into. All right, so here's a great question also about Studio. Anthony from Facebook is asking, do both users need a Restream account to go live together like we are doing right now with Anastasia? The answer to this question, and sorry, I'm taking all the you, <laughs> all the Studio questions because I'm like the prominent user of, of that specific uh, feature. Uh, the answer is no, you do not need to have an account in order to join Restream Studio as a guest. Uh, as a host, you do, of course, but as a guest, all you need to do is click the link and we'll immediately pull you in and that will allow you to appear on the video, to talk and also to share your screen. No special account created, needed. Like it's just, uh, yeah, it's, it's as easy as Zoom or any other virtual meeting that you can um, have. Can you share, another question, um, can you share audio with screen share? Yes, you can. Um, so again, if, if we're talking about, uh, like if I'm sharing screen, like for example, if I'm playing the video on screen, uh, and sharing my screen, will you hear the sound from that video? The answer is yes. Yes, you can. Um, if, if that's not exactly what you were asking, please feel free to, uh, follow up and, uh, but yeah, you can, you can share the screen and whatever is playing there, uh, the mu music or any kind of, um, sound audio will be also streamed through the studio. All right, um, question from YouTube. Um, is there a desktop app for Restream? I'll let you nice to answer that. <laughs> so we kind of alternate a little. Yeah, actually we are desktop based. Um, we also support mobile, uh, though our coverage on the mobile is a little bit limited at the moment. Um, I know a lot of, so first of all, to stream from mobile, um, we would recommend you to install additional application uh, for that. Um, it's you, it's in our health center articles, so we can find how to do that. Uh, but you can also connect uh, Restream from your mobile directly. Um, it, but be mindful, we recommend desktop. <laughs> desktop for sure is the way to go. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so there is kind of not a question, but you can use OBS as a free uh, desktop platform. So just to comment on that real quick, yes, you can use Restream with OBS. We're doing this through Studio to kind of show our own encoder solution, so to say, but you can use Restream with OBS. Uh, and a lot of people, traditional, that was the only way to use Restream. A lot of people are used to that. It gives you a little bit more flexibility in terms of what you can do with your video, such as changing scenes. Uh, multiple audio ingests, multiple cameras, and all other special effects that um, OBS allows you to introduce. Uh, but yeah, so basically, that is one of the ways of Restream. You can either the studio or go to OBS. Thanks, Anna. I think I read the question incorrectly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is there... Uh, okay, this is a good one. Um, is there music copyright restrictions like Facebook and YouTube? Uh, Anastasia, do you want to take this one? Because I love this question. <laughs> and I love answering, answering to this one. Maybe we can do both. Uh, so the short answer, we, we don't do copyright. Restream doesn't do any copyright in, uh, controls. Uh, so you can stream um, content. We don't monitor it. Uh, 
But yes, uh, and destinations, especially Facebook and YouTube, have their own copyright content, and they may block you for uh, copyright content, um, especially if it's a music or even like an entitled title description that has some specific keywords or. Um, videos uh, in this situation uh, we always recommend first reaching out maybe to the end destination to facebook or youtube to just to check um uh, that they will allow you to stream like they, they just confirm with them that you have rights to your music your rights to the video and then of course just send the stream We're yeah just absolutely facilitator. Yeah, we don't put any restrictions. It's all up to end platforms. So please check with their rules and regulations. And uh, Restream has no limitations or copyright restrictions whatsoever uh, on our end. Can you use multiple custom destinations at the same time? So I guess the question is, you can add one customer team piece and you add many customer team piece. Yeah, why not? <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah, uh, you can. Uh, it, yeah, of course you can. It's just uh, just as many as you have for your plan. So. Of course you can. Yeah, exactly. It's just the question of, um, um, yeah, of, of which plan you're on. But yes, you can definitely add multiple destinations. Can you stream to MySpace? It's a good one. It's a good question. Uh, to answer, I don't know. <laughs> uh, is it MySpace? It's a, like um, like a also like a Skype, similar to Skype or Facebook. Is it uh, something similar? The, I guess the short answer is mm -hmm. if they have, we don't have a my street, uh, MySpace as a um, built-in channel, but if they support, if you can get a stream key from them, then you can stream to them through customer RTMP. Actually, any platform that is not listed in our uh, in our list, for example, lately it's been uh, Trovo Live or uh, Mixcloud, you can, if, if you can get a stream key, which you can usually <laughs> with these platforms, then you use a customer RTMP to um, to send your stream there as well. Awesome. Uh, another question here from YouTube. Can Restream create go live schedules on various platforms or do they need to manu to be manually created in advance? So this is a great question. Actually, one of my favorite because this is this is something that I'm struggling with myself. Right now, uh, you do have to create events such as YouTube event like this one that we're streaming to or uh, Facebook events or um, LinkedIn events if you're authorized to stream on LinkedIn in advance. And then on your dashboard, you will be selecting the specific event that you are going to send your stream to. However, this is going to change very soon. We are working on kind of revamping and reimagining our dashboard so you would be able to actually create and schedule those streams on Facebook and YouTube uh, directly from Restream dashboard. That's a very good question. Um, I'm, glad, I'm glad you guys asked them. Um, all right. So there was another question about scheduling, uh, because the chat is very loaded today. Um, uh, I cannot find it, but I, we're just going to answer that question about scheduling pre-recorded stream and pushing it live. Anastasia, if you don't mind shedding some light on that one. Yeah, we have additional product, which is a Restream Scheduler. Uh, in the past, it used to be a standalone product, but now we're trying to integrate it in our uh, main product, Restream. So basically what it allows you is to pre-upload the video uh, before you, and then schedule it to go live at a certain time. Uh, personally, I think that's an amazing tool because, uh, first of all, it allows you to control the quality and that nothing bad happens during your stream so there is a certain there's a good quality of internet and video and so audio and so on so the quality the second one also uh if you do your pre-recording on monday you can sleep in on sunday if you're sending your stream live on sunday morning you still can sleep and enjoy your sleep uh, while the stream will go live uh, and i think the third uh, biggest advantage is that um only you will know that the video is pre-recorded, basically. <laughs> uh, it will look live uh, for everybody else. Some destination, some end destination platforms may require you to say that the stream is uh, pre-recorded before, but for majority, it will go live as, as live. Yeah, awesome. Uh, I started to, I kind of caught that question in advance and already displayed it for you because I think it's a great question. Is there a limit on how many panelists can join? Yes, there is. Right now, we allow up to 10 guests in Restream Studio. So this is uh, what we believe is probably the most reasonable amount of guests you can have uh, if you're trying to use the studio. Uh, you can have those guests all at the same time on your screen or you can have them in this kind of like green room limbo and basically pull them one after another if that's if that's your jam, if that's how you do your show. If you need more guests than that, uh, 
and please come back to our explanation about Zoom. Zoom allows you to bring even more panelists and then you can connect a Zoom to restream and then multi-stream that Zoom meeting or webinar, but within the studio space up to 10 guests on screen or in green room today and possibly more in the future. All righty. Um, okay. Let's see what else we have here. Uh, so there are there was a request to demo uh, how to stream on Instagram specifically, and there will also re uh, request for demo for Zoom. Uh, I really appreciate that you guys are sharing uh, that you would like to see more on that. What we want to do with this Q&A sessions in the future is we want to actually, because right now we're kind of all over the map because you're asking all kinds of questions, but we'd like to actually make certain themes for each session. So for example, well, this is a Q&A about Zoom. This is a Q&A about Instagram. This is a Q&A about uh, Studio, right? So uh, please let me know, let us know what kind of topics are you interested in in the chat, ideally in the comments after this video so we can actually access them later. Uh, so that will help us determine what kind of Q&As and what kind of sessions we run in the future because we would love to answer the question that you want and kind of focus people on specific topics uh, that are most interesting for you. But also to add a little bit that uh, we are... In, in investing a lot into revising our health center and creating video resources. So, for example, for Zoom as well as um, uh, it, uh, Instagram, not yet, but uh, Zoom already, you can see a um, video on how to add Zoom and how to start a stream on Zoom as well. Awesome. Our awesome. Yeah, found the question about the scheduler. Can I stream uh, a pre recorded video to Facebook? Yes, you can. There's a tool called Scheduler. We just uh, covered it. Uh, a couple of minutes earlier. Uh, there's a question about OBS. Can you use Restream as OBS? Yes, you can. And with many, many other platforms and software, um, OBS is just one of them. XSplit is another. Uh, Vmix, I believe, is another. So there are many different, uh, different ways how to do that. I think in general, Everstream started as a, a platform for gamers because of, the gamers were really the first one who entered this world of content, crea content creation, of live streaming and uh, sharing into multiple platforms. But now we are definitely moving towards businesses more. Yeah. Uh, and uh, of course, we support every of everything for uh, OBS and everything for console streaming from a console or your, um, uh, basically everything for gamers as well as well as for businesses as well now. <laughs> awesome. Um, is there a limit to streaming for paid users, like four hours, eight hours max? No, there is not. And there was another question. Yeah, there was another question of that sort from the music channel. Can I stream 24 hours? Yes, you can. We don't have any limitations in terms of hours. We don't have any limitations in terms of bit rate. We don't have any limitations in terms of how many, you know, how many streams you do per week, per month. Uh, this is all unlimited, unlimited plan, including the free one if you are comfortable with your own profiles. Like there's no limitation um, ever. Actually, yeah. one of our uh, one of our co-workers, uh, he, he sent a stream for 48 hours straight uh, himself. Uh, don't ask me if he took a toilet break. <laughs> I don't know yeah. how that happened, but uh, it's possible. We, we, we facilitate that as well. There's no limits. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, can I get a t-shirt, please? <laughs> uh, guys, I mean, this is adorable. Uh, I, I believe you can. Yeah, just uh, contact our support chat and let let us know your shipping address and your preferred size and we'll send you the... I, I believe nice is that's your showcasing our Restream t-shirt. Last, last time I was wearing one. Um, yeah, please apparently, mention, please mention it that is. it's from this stream so that we know how to locate you. Otherwise, <laughs> we may not find you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, do your viewers have to download anything to watch your live streams? Um, no, they don't. Uh, they can go to any platform that uh, they typically would consume live content. Uh, YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, Mixer, going away soon, but still Facebook. Um, and they can just consume content right there without downloading anything, just stream it live uh, from their web browsers um, and... If you want to download your own stream later on, you can do that from your uh, YouTube or your Facebook account. So for example, if we want this live to be downloaded and repurposed for little questions and answers, we uh, actually do have a tendency to do that. Uh, in the future, we are planning to bring this functionality directly to the studio so you can download the stream right after you're done uh, broadcasting directly from, from your dashboard. But right now, um, you can only download it from end platforms. But for viewers, um, not at all, nothing, nothing to download. Let's see. Oh, so many, so many. It's really awesome to see how a lot of uh, community members are 
um, responding to other questions. And uh, that's that's really helpful to see that you guys are jumping on because there's so many questions uh, here. We obviously overdid this this time and invited a lot of people. So we appreciate you sharing your knowledge with the community. In your experience, how safe is Yellow Duck to use? Love that question. Good question. Uh, I think it, I use it a couple of times, so I think it's safe. Um, I didn't have any problems. It's a standalone application, so it's not it's it's not restream empowered, but um, yeah, it works well. <laughs> so yeah. we seen, we definitely seen a lot of users using it, and there's no issues. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, um, yeah, I, I, it's not uh, just for the record. Yellow Deck is not our product. It's a third-party application that was built by somebody else, not us. But it does work well with Restream, and we have not heard of any uh, reports of that being a massive uh, security issue or any other um, issue. I've never heard of people being banned for that. I know that Instagram technically doesn't encourage that, but I have not heard of any kind of um, issues that that would cause. All right. Um, this one is good. YouTube Stream now works with the new studio. Um, I guess that's just a comment uh, question, right? Does YouTube Stream now work with a uh, studio uh, or just with Restream in general? I'm not sure I understand the, uh, the question really well. So, you know, we have YouTube events and YouTube Stream now. Oh. So can we break down a little bit the difference about that? Because I see quite a bit of questions about that. Um, so let, let's just kind of sure. show, so, show the difference um, between the two. So I think uh, YouTube uh, now uh, it has a basically it has one link and then you stream you always stream to the same link all the time. So let's say if stream finished and uh, tomorrow or day after, or next week you want to stream again, um, you will stream to the same link and the users would just go to the same link and watch your stream. Whenever it's with the YouTube events, they um, you need. Every time a new link created, that's ama and that's amazing for um, like what, what we're doing right now. That we want to um, let people know in advance that the stream will be happening, and we send a link in advance. And every new, every new event, new link. So it's basically for that purposes. That that is to say that also. We heard the news that um, uh, YouTube now may be going away. <laughs> I know YouTube YouTube had it for a while, but um, as their announcement, it, we don't no, nothing really confirmed yet. But um, it, just be mindful that um, YouTube now may be sunsetting. But we all, I think, we all know Google very well that uh, sometimes they sunset products and sometimes they go live. So there have been rumors that it might be sunsetting soon. Awesome. Uh, great question from AJ. Is there password protection to create a private broadcast? Yeah, a good question. And no. <laughs> but the short answer is no. So in order, if you want to create a, a private broadcast, uh, we suggest you to stream to YouTube unlisted event. Um, in this situation, the, the uh, YouTube, uh, uh, the event will be only visible to those who you share the link with, like what we did, for example, last time with our stream. And um in this case, you kind of cater for privacy. Uh, also, Facebook supports that partially as well. So you and in your Facebook uh, profile, you can set up a private stream. And then it's also, again, will only be visible for um, people with the link. Uh, but a restream itself, we don't, we, we don't like make it private or make it unavailable. And, and yeah, we just send the stream as is. What you send to us, we send it to the platforms. Awesome. Uh, great question about pricing. How much are your monthly prices? Uh, let me actually go ahead and share my screen uh, to show Restream pricing because I believe that, you know, it's going to be helpful for people to just real quick. And of course, we'll start with Infinity. And, and now um, you should see Um So this is our pricing for individuals. If you're not a corporation, if you're just streaming for yourself or for your small business, this is what you will be looking at. Uh, for free plan is, of course, it's zero. Um, and you can see all the um, channels and services that are included in that plan. The standard plan is $19 a month. If you do annual prepaid, it's going to go down to $16 a month. And the main benefit here is that you get uh, one custom extra destination, uh, such as additional channel uh, on YouTube or Facebook. And you also uh, have the opportunity to stream to Facebook public pages and groups. Professional plan uh, includes everything in standard, and it also allows you to... Uh, add up to three custom destinations, the one that we talked about in the beginning. Uh, it also removes the stream branding and it has professional features for the studio, such as all those graphics overlays and uh, 
customizations that I uh, shared earlier. That plan will be $49 a month if you're paying monthly and $41 a month if you're paying annually. There are also plans for companies that are a little bit more expensive, but you can check this um, information out on restream.io slash pricing, and you can always reach out to our support uh, in order to learn a little bit more about um, about those prices and uh, any specials that are going on right now. So yeah, that I, think, I think also uh, it's interesting to note that uh, also for company plans, um, uh, like a premium or business plan, Sorry, we have additional features uh, like uh, fallback uh, or we have um, amplifier, which I think is a great and also like a more custom destinations, obviously, uh, per each plan and uh, better uh, customer support as well, like a more faster customer response times as well. So uh, I think that's an amazing um, distinction for people. Again, if you're thinking of streaming a big conference or you're thinking about a um, DJ event or just event going live, that could be a solution for you. Uh, faster response times on support, and but also like more custom destination, amplifier, uh, fallback options, something that um, you can definitely use. Awesome. Thank you for that. And let's go ahead and just take just a couple more uh, last questions before we move into our special promo code that we'll be sharing uh, with you guys. I would do the professional if it was less expensive. Uh, yeah, it makes it makes sense. But uh, typically for professional plans that we're looking at people who are using it for businesses. So for individual plans, as we mentioned, you can use it for free or with, with a $19 uh, a month, but for professional, it's something that people would be using when they care about branding, when they care about um, like certain number of business pages and additional destinations. So this is what is driving the price. But remember, we always have some kind of uh, promo codes or some specials going on. So just keep an eye on that. Uh, be signed up for our newsletter, and uh, sooner or later, um, you will get some kind of a special offer, including just in a couple of minutes now. Uh, can you stop and start a monthly plan? Uh, oh, Anastasia, could you break down about cancellation policy? That would be really helpful. Yeah, uh, actually, great question. Uh, thanks for asking, Katie. Uh, I think uh, the most thing, the most exciting thing, is that we have seven days money back guarantee with any of our plans. So you take a seven days any plan, you start using it, and then you see how it's working for you. If something is not working, you have seven days to claim a full money back back <laughs> uh you just contact support and we um will refund you completely um when it comes to a monthly plan you just stop your monthly plan and the, the, the billing basically will last until the end of the billing cycle and then that's it you you're gone you you stop your subscription and you back to your standard um free plan yeah awesome any plans to add tools to monetize streams? That's a great question. Uh, we actually did have a pilot program called Restream Advertising when we were uh, offering streamers, specifically from gaming background, to uh, stream sponsored games and actually earn. Uh, right now, uh, one of my main jobs, aside from hanging hanging out with you guys here during Q&A sessions, is influencer marketing. So I do work with streamers to a significant and established uh, communities and audiences and we do offer paid opportunities to promote Restream, to create Restream tutorials, to uh, mention Restream as their sponsor during their live streams, especially if they're doing any kind of business uh, or marketing streams on LinkedIn. So if you are interested in working with us and be sponsored, uh, we actually have the opportunity. Please reach out to our support. They will direct you over to me. Uh, but in general, there was also that project that we were, when we were thinking about automating advertising for our community and we are planning to go back to that uh, closer to fall. So short answer is yes, we're constantly thinking about it. Some options are available right now and more is to come. Uh, great question, by the way. All right. So I guess, um, okay, one last chat question, which I really, I really like. Um, I haven't used this in a while. Does the chat uh, bot relays messages between chat services? Yes, it does. Um, let me actually type it up right now. Chat relay. And I am going to send it. So right now I just type one message uh, in, in my box here in the chat and it sent it to Periscope, YouTube, and Facebook at the same time. You also have the opportunity to respond um, and type up messages uh, to, 
to specific platforms. So you can just select one platform and then, and then send that message like, okay, this is only going to YouTube, or this is only going to Facebook. Um, I personally adore people uh, who are creating content and streaming live and also have the time to send messages to type them up. Like I usually respond to everything with my voice because it's just, I'm not as good at, mul at multitasking, I guess, as some people are. Uh, but yes, we do have that opportunity. You can relay uh, responses to the to your chat to all platforms or to, pla to specific platforms individually. All righty. I also want to add that we have a... Uh... It's like a small bot. This, how, this is the best way to describe it, really. Yeah. It's in a chat uh, opportunity. It's a, it, within the chat. So you can set up for a special character, for special word. You can set up a phrase to be put in into your um, in, in, and to be sent to all the platforms. So, for example, if you're uh, during the stream and you want to uh, like ask a question like, hey, guys, are you still feeling okay? You don't have to type the whole phrase. You can just say, um, yeah, you can pre-type like a, a bot into this and then you just put a phrase and that will uh, populate the question uh, for you. Um, and that's also supported for our chat. For this, you need to set up, uh, you need to download our uh, application, chat application. Um, let's actually wrap it up with a philosophical slash very good question uh, from Home Studio Simplified. Why are all these of the services are focused on saturated gaming market? Uh, great question, and uh, let me respectfully disagree because Restream actually allows you to stream to platforms such as LinkedIn, which is not necessarily your typical gaming platform. Uh, Periscope and several others. We're constantly adding more platforms um, to to focus on different different markets. And we have a lot of people from different backgrounds, including churches and faith-based organizations. We have musicians, we have fitness trainers, we have people from different, different backgrounds who are uh, streaming with us. So we are not only focusing on gaming. And if anything right now with Restream Studio and with our connection with LinkedIn Live, we're actually very actively pushing uh, the opportunity to create live content for marketers, social media strategists, and business people uh, more so than gaming. So it is actually, uh, Restream is a universal tool for all industries and all backgrounds. So, so there is definitely uh, there's definitely room to stream even if you're not not a game. So definitely, uh, definitely something to to think about. And uh, yeah, let us know. Uh, let us know if you have any other questions. We, we won't be taking any more from this chat because we're kind of uh, getting close to our 45 minute limit. And I am going to go ahead and send the link. Uh, to our promo code in the chat uh, using that same chat relay right now. So this is going to give you 20% uh, of any restream plan um, for you know for your first purchase, whether it's a monthly purchase or annual purchase. It's going to just cut 20% off your um, your annual. And I'm going to also showcase this code right here on the screen, oh, right here. It, I, I'm still not used to this. <laughs> that it's like it's. it's the opposite right this this is the code redeem uh re, uh redemo 2 it's 20 percent off any restream plan uh it's going to be good for a whole week until thursday july 16th so please take advantage um and for those people who were sending uh messages on youtube in chat uh, what youtube does it unfortunately unless we kind of like rewatch the stream we won't be able to see those messages so if you had any questions or you would really love for us to follow up with you please leave a comment in um in the comment section for the youtube video that we are uh, wrapping up right now and we will be definitely happy to come back and respond uh both the uh, support team and myself will always go back and respond to everybody uh who commented and please let us know what other topics you're interested in for our future q a's we would love to create a session that is focusing on specific topics that you're the most um, interested in um anything else anastasia that we that we would like to um, yeah i guess uh, uh, with those people that are that got an email to uh um to for this uh, stream feel free to respond to me. It, it goes directly to me. So <laughs> I will be able to uh, look into them and uh, go through them. So yes, use that channel. But also our support, uh, we uh, offer support 24-7. Um, we have really people spread across the globe, a very multi-international team, which I'm super proud of, uh, literally in Asia, Americas, uh, everywhere. So it's super exciting. Our guys are amazing. They're super good streamers but also very good um uh, and they can all help you uh, with any questions that you have uh, but also use our health center resources as i was saying that we doubled down on uh, our uh, health center resources we created a lot of video content um 
anything that you want to know, like what equipment do I need to use? We have that, we cover that. Or how do I test my first stream? Or how do I connect YouTube? Uh, or how do I connect Facebook? It's all covered there as well. So um, most likely the, your questions are answered. Uh, if not, again, feel free to reach out to us. We will be more than happy to help. Uh, again, uh, our mission is to accelerate the impact of lives and we will be happy to see you streaming. Absolutely. Thanks again so very much, everybody who showed up today. We really appreciate it. We appreciate your patience with us, with the mix up, with the timing. We will make sure that doesn't happen in the future. And please, please let us know what else you would like to learn about. And if you enjoy this Q&A sessions, should we continue doing them? Should we make them more often um, or focus on specific topics? And in the future, we're planning to bring more Restream team members to actually drive those sessions. So we'll have people from different expertise and different background. Uh, for example, I can probably tell you a little more about how to grow your channel, how to grow your audience, how to uh, work as an influencer with uh, with other brands. And there are people who can dive deep into tech um, and kind of break down uh, things on that level. So, yeah, we're, we're planning to definitely be here for you. And, um, yeah, let's uh, let's stay in touch and let us know, uh, comment, feedback, anything. And thanks again for, for being with us. And thank you so very much for streaming with the stream. Happy streaming, Bye. guys. Bye.